velocity is given as a function of x we need to find velocity and acceleration as a function of time then average speed and how much time it takes to cover the first s meters so velocity as a function of x is given and we need to find the velocity as a function of time so we'll write it in the form dx by dt first so we'll get x as a function of time then we'll differentiate it to get the velocity as a function of time so integrate this put the root x down and we'll get the relation between x and time which is x equal to alpha square t square by 4 so we'll differentiate it and we'll get velocity as a function of time differentiate it again we'll get acceleration as a function of time which is constant now average speed so it is total distance upon total time here luckily the particle is not taking a u-turn so total distance is same as total displacement why it's not taking a u-turn you can see here that x is always going to be positive and therefore v is also going to be positive so v is not becoming the negative at any time so v average is total distance upon total time is equal to total displacement which we got from here divide by time actually my bad s is given in the question because we need to find the average speed during the first s meters so s is s is given time is not given so in s by t we'll use s s will be remain as it is and the time we will put in terms of s and we'll get our answer v average so for first s meters this is the v average